friends Amanda um, recommended that we go and do uh, a film a film course. I found out about the course through my case manager and I joined the course because I wanted to meet new people and get involved in the community to try and make a change of the way people perceive mental illness. This round of students uh, had particularly strong voices um, regarding uh, what they'd experienced with the um, mental health system. And so, yeah, I definitely um, encountered people who were different at the beginning, like a lot more, um, I'd say, angry and disappointed to the people at the end who felt a lot of release and um, just being able to talk about um, what they've been through. I think there was a lot of healing involved in being able to talk about their experiences. It was good to share what we were, what we were going through and it just gives you peace to know that you're not the only one, that other people are in the same boat as you. This group was so accepting and warm and welcoming, you know, it was, it was really good and I didn't feel judged at all. I think I didn't really expect much of the, um, of the drama games but then it turned out each week that was like a really good start just to loosen everybody up. I think we probably just all thought, why are we doing these drama games? What's that got to do with film? But um, it was actually a really clever way to, yeah, get everyone relaxed and um, just to be themselves, really. My horse is kind of jumping me. Oh. The crew was absolutely brilliant. The whole program, um, every step of the way, every course, every day, um, we did something different that um, inspired me to put to my everyday life, you know, um, getting up and speaking in front of people, doing the little scripts that, you know, beforehand to um, express ourselves freely. So we had a few um, production meltdowns, including a, um, we had established that Callan Park, actually it used to be uh, the hospital for the clinically insane uh, down at Roselle, we'd pick this location just because it had such a connection with um, some of these stories. And um, what had happened is the night before our shoot, uh, basically vandalists broke in and threw paint all over our location. So we had white paint to get rid of, which of course our wonderful cinematographer, David Burr, um, I had to make the phone call to tell him <laughs> and um, yeah, deal with the possibility of everything falling to pieces. But we had wonderful volunteers and support that came and literally scratched off every bit of paint. So including Julian and Ash, who are amazing. The dancers, they were great doing their interpretation of what they saw and learning how it was done. Being out at Kellen Park and getting to see like for one minute of film, it's like 20 million minutes of work. It's like, yeah, it was just an eye opener. That was awesome. I love being on set. I love acting. I really love acting. So I'm happy I was a part of it. So um, I was the one that did the singing of the song and um, I helped compose it with Rob but uh, as a group we helped come up with the lyrics and I think for me, I don't know, that was probably the most nerve wracking part, um, the vocals to me, that was more scary and more vulnerable than sharing my story on mental health. The best thing was definitely seeing the end product and that everybody's story was told the way that it was meant to be told. I got to tell my story and um, what's going on with me internally. So for me, it's like a, a helping, a tool to explain myself. Definitely grown as a person. I know myself better and I met people going through the same thing as me, which made me feel good. I can start to trust people um, with the control of other things like you know, that's probably one of the hardest things for me, so I would prefer to be the one that did all the editing, <laughs> did, did the DOP, did everything, just to make sure it came out okay. But um, yeah, today seeing the final product and it's turned out really well. In the filming process, we all got to go to a uh, place called Big Bang Studios, which does all the sound recording and voiceovers. They even actually won an Oscar apparently last year, and I got told I got a gun voice. So I'm happy. I think it's so important that we're putting um, people's stories on camera and people that are often sidelined in society, that we're putting their stories out there 
It's a very empowering thing to have um, someone listen to your story and want to put it out there for the world to see. I'm excited to see what they're going to do next and I, you know, I'm just very humbled to be a part of the journey. I've suffered depression before so I know what it's like not to want to go or see people. If you can force yourself out to meet these other people in the same position and actually express what happened to you and it's been documented properly rather than just over a cup of tea or a beer, I suggest doing it. It's very good for you and it will help your recovery.